This is Bob from VVST Tech with another Windows 7 tip, and this one features a new tool in Windows 7 called the Snipping Tool. You can find the Snipping Tool from the Start menu, and if it's not visible in your Start menu, you can find it under the All Programs Accessories folder. I use the Snipping Tool so often that I've decided to pin it to my taskbar, so that way I can have access to it whenever I start up Windows. And the snipping tool is effectively a screen capturing program, which will allow me to take snippets of my active uh, display and then do something with it afterwards. So for example, if I wanted to capture part of this on demand page, I could open up the snipping tool and you'll see that I have a cursor ready to go. And all I have to do is click and drag what it is I want captured. Maybe the symbol blue icon, for example. Okay, and after doing so, you see it got imported into the Snipping Tool program. From here, I could save it as an image file. Um, I could also annotate over it using these pen tools. Um, there's an option for me to copy, but I don't even need to press this button because the moment I capture something into the Snipping Tool program, it copies it, auto it, copies it automatically for me. Um, you can that's demonstrated by, uh, for example, if I go to Microsoft Paint and just hit Control V to paste, you see there it is right in my active window. So I could quickly capture parts of my display and paste it into Word or Smart Notebook, or in this case, Paint. Okay, the last feature of the snipping tool, which is kind of nice, is that after something's been captured here, I can also uh, send it to an email recipient as an attachment or write directly in the body of the email itself. So I could capture something um, and send it to a colleague of mine, or if I'm getting an error on my Windows 7 display and I'm not sure what it means, I could always capture it using the snipping tool and then send it to helpdesk at vvsd.org and have them explain to me what it is that I'm doing wrong. Um, so you can see there's a lot of different uses for the snipping tool.